This is using the task run and the t-task uh, class. And I'm passing a, a lambda uh, into the run. And then inside of here, I'm doing a thread synchronize. And the reason I, and I pass a lambda to that one, because I want to, inside of this uh, task run, I want to be able to update the user interface to say, is it working or is it done? Uh, the capture variables I need to, to pass into the lambda, the this pointer, so it can know about memo one uh, that is in the user interface. And the iterator here, uh, I, I need to pass that in so that I can do the test of what's going on uh, right there. And so this example can run on, it's a FireMonkey example, it can run on uh, on all the different platforms. And then I have button two, which is not in the task run, and it's just going to output the current value that I am uh, updating along the way. And the value is being updated inside of the, the task run, for it's, uh, the for loop inside of the task run. And the value is defined over in the in the class, and it's just, in this case, I put it in the private um, to protect it from other uh, other code. All right. Now, I, I commented out the t-task here again because I wanted to go and show you what's available on the t-task. Uh, so we have run. We can wait for any other tasks that might be running. If we start up multiple tasks, wait for any of those at the end of some logic. We can also wait for all. There's, I think if I, there's run, of course, and that takes a sender and it takes a, uh, uh, a, a notify event, and, and a, which is an, a task interface, and that allows me to use the lambda, that, that declaration. So wait for any, and I think there's a wait for all down here. So we can do a wait for all. We can see what the current task is. We can go and check the status of each of the tasks, for example, and see are the, is it running, is it, is it stopped, is it completed. So you have all of that uh, capability just in the t-task uh, class itself. And in this case, I'm using, the again, the run method. So let's uh, run this one. Win32 is fine. Um, just so we can watch. So here we're just showing the value, right? We're just hitting and clicking the, the show value, but let's run the background task. Now it's running and sleeping, working away. That's, that's that uh, call to thread synchronize so we can write to the user interface. Show value is just dumping out. And then it's all done when it completed and went through all of the iterations it wanted to do, in this case, five, and, uh, and we see the final value. You could have different tasks running. You can create an array of tasks, for example, and you could have them running and you could have a main logic that would that would just check the status of threads. You can use the parallel programming threaded library in our in all of the compilers that support uh, the, the multi-device or even VCL as you saw just Windows only.